We are joined now by Brian Arnell, our Extension Precision Nutrient Management Specialist. Brian, we're seeing some yellow wheat around the state. Let's talk about that right off the bat. Yeah, so the yellowing going around the state, uh, a fair amount is due to nitrogen. I'll address that, but there's a lot of things happening in our wheat crop right now. A lot of disease, a lot of abiotic stresses. So just because of wheat yellow doesn't mean it's due to nitrogen, absolutely. But there's a lot of nitrogen deficiency going out in the state right now. Uh, a couple reasons uh, for that. One is we just look at the rainfall totals for the last uh, 60 to 90 days. We've had a significant amount of rain, uh, anywhere between six to 10 inches, depending on where you're at in the state. You have some examples for us. Tell us what we're seeing here. Okay, so what we're seeing here is a couple of things. We see uh, yellowing on the lower and older leaves. That's a sign of nitrogen deficiencies. When you have a green top up, uh, green plants up top, uh, yellow leaves down below, that's a good symptomology of nitrogen deficiency because it starts, nitrogen can relocate from the older leaves to the newer leaves, so you see the deficiency down low. One of the reasons I think that we're seeing a lot of nitrogen deficiency, even though nitrogen has been applied, is that almost everywhere I go throughout the state, I'm seeing pretty shallow roots. So our rainfall pattern this year has allowed the wheat just to kind of maintain itself in the top couple inches, and it's not exploring down to depth. So with our recent rainfalls moving that nitrate down into the soil profile, we probably just don't have a root system big enough this year that can chase it down. So we're seeing a lot of nitrogen deficiencies even when fields had a fertilizer applied in January and early February. I know you're getting questions from producers. What, what can I do, if anything, and is it too late? Are we too far along in the growing season? Those are great questions and, and a little bit of a complicated question. Uh, the too late will absolutely go back to where's the wheat at in its growth stage. Right here, this wheat I'm holding, we're about one leaf away from seeing the flag leaf fully extended. By that point in time, we've really gotten too late to get much benefit out of anything for nitrogen. From what we've seen in the current research is that if we can get our nitrogen on somewhere between hollow stem, that's when that growing point is above the soil surface, which most of the state is at right now, to a couple weeks afterwards. So somewhere we have about a joint, maybe that heading is about four to six inches above that soil surface, we can get pretty good recovery. So for a good portion of the state, there's still that window of opportunity over the next couple of weeks or yeah, so. There's still that window of opportunity, but make sure your growth stage is out there. Another thing to take uh, keep in mind is the applicator you're using to apply. Once we have that growing point abo above the soil surface, that hollow stem is above the soil surface, whenever you step or drive over the wheat, it will terminate that wheat. It will kill that growing point. So trafficking has to be considered. Okay, well, great conversation today. Thanks for this guidance, and we will see you again soon. For a link to Brian's new blog and more details on what we discussed today, go to sunup.okstate.edu.